to Coffee Time, <laughs> episode number five, I believe. Welcome. It is Wednesday, the 24th of August. It's great to be here. My name is Anthony Pika. This show is all about helping the new and upcoming voiceover artists grow their business and sidestep all the crazy things that I seem to step on. And we drink coffee. I have a good time. Welcome to the show. Today we are going to be talking about what website should you get started on uh, in voiceover to make money. I think that's an important distinction, right? Where you're starting, where you want to make money. Because, you know, we can start on a variety of different places, but I think making money on those places is is a whole nother thing. And of course you'd be like, well, of course we want to make money, but there are going to be some places where I think you're going to be able to make money faster, you know, and than other places. So I think that's an important distinction too. Also, if you're just coming in, make sure you post your name in the chats, where you're from so that we can get a shout out to you as well as any questions you might have. Um, it's always fun to answer your questions in the morning. Uh, so please leave your questions and everything uh, as well. Also, I'm I'm super excited because I have to announce this so real quick before we get into the 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 uh, the website um, the website deal is that you know I've been looking for a long time on how to um, you know work with uh, the my my academy members on um, you know bringing work to them. So I'm super excited that. With the uh, Vio's Journey Elite Academy, we we uh, um, uh, released our first set of voiceover jobs. We uh, put out 22 different voiceover jobs last night in our um, voiceover academy and uh, hiring voice actors from the academy. Super exciting. So I'm thrilled uh, for that. And um, it's it's going to be a blast. That's um, another thing that we're doing in the academy. I want, I've always wanted to hire voice actors to do work too, you know, and we start, of course, we have the audiobook production company where we're hiring voice actors for audiobooks, but I also wanted to be able to hire voice actors for shorter form content. So uh, we're putting out a promotional video for our conference. So I was able to hire a bunch of our voice actors for that. So I'm super excited. Anyways, I just, I wanted to share that with everybody. Um, it's a blast. Uh, if you are interested in being a part of the Academy, we'd love to have you. There's a link below. And we're also, also offering 50% off uh, the first month. So come check it out. It's it's amazing. Um, I, I, and, and, you know, going in with that as well as getting into this idea about websites. You know, when I first started, I was on ACX. And uh, I did audiobooks because I I didn't know where else to go. I you know I had seen some videos um, that that said you know hey you could be an audiobook narrator you know and try out ACX and it's free and all this stuff and you know I went on ACX and I started there and it 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 is free it is a great place to start uh, making money on ACX is not as easy as it used to be <laughs> right I mean there's a lot of royalty share meaning like you know you do work and if that work ends up, you know, people end up buying that audio book, you split a percentage with the, the, um, the author or rights holder, and then Amazon, um, you know, so that is one way to make money or you're paid out right per finished hour. But there are a couple websites that I've noticed that, you know, er, they're a great place for you to join and to get your, your career kicked off right away. So I kind of look at these websites in order of, you know, how quickly you can join them and how quickly you can start making money. So the first couple of websites, these are freelance websites, right? Where you, um, it's open to everybody. It's it's free, but you know it it does take it does take some work, but probably the least amount of work. So I'm gonna throw out the first website that, even though it has challenges and there's issues with it and everything like that, it still yields some of the best. Uh, the best be for beginners, and that's Fiverr. Fiverr.com. Even all these, even after all these years, because I've been I've been on Fiverr for many years, and you know been preaching this this train for a long time, right? Been riding this train forever. 
gone through a lot of ups and downs with Fiverr, with other, you know, with the, the voiceover community, it still is a wonderful place to make money. It's not the place that's the end all be all. I do think sometimes that we as voice actors, you know, we don't want to have to go through that grind of constantly marketing ourselves. Right. I mean, it's exhausting, right? You constantly have to market yourself. But I do. Sorry, excuse me. I have a cold this morning. But I do believe that, you know, Fiverr is one of those places where, you know, they do the majority of the marketing for you. So I don't know of any other website, even today, that still has the enormous amount of reach. Now, I think they have uh, pulled back some. Um I think that's opened the door for another website that's really starting to catch my eye even more. But these are not new websites. But that, that I've started to see people are getting more work on as well. And that's Upwork. I think both of those websites combined, Fiverr and Upwork, I think you literally, if you did nothing else in voiceover and you mastered those two sites, you'd make an obscene amount of money. I know that because I've made an obscene amount of money on the websites. Uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars. They're there. But it does take time and effort. But they're still the be one of the best places to start. One, because they're free. Two, because money is flowing through them regularly. And three, I think because I live in that world and like with the, you know, part of what we do at the academy too is, you know, we teach we we try to get people making money asap right you know we want you to be able to pay your bills <laughs> we want you to be able to pay for your equ equipment and upgrade and you know um and I, I think these sites are really good now i do want to point out something but i do believe that they're not the like i said they're not the end all be all meaning you know when we start somewhere doesn't mean as we grow our business that we stay somewhere. And I think this is this is really this is an important point because even people like me, you know, we get to you get to a point I I I can get into this rut of just talking about one thing and never talking beyond that one thing because we're all of us are in different stages. You might be like today, you might be watching me, you might be literally just starting out. You might not even have all of your equipment up, you might have recorded just a few things, you might not have recorded anything yet. Or you might have been doing this for years and years and years, right? Where you have everything, voiceover second nature to you. You're trying to just get that leg up to get to that next level. You could be somewhere in the middle. You're trying to transition from audiobooks to something else, to maybe something that's a little bit higher paying for a little less of your time. If you do audiobooks, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> like you, There could be people here listening from all all over the spectrum. So I do think that, you know, same thing with pricing. You know, we talk about a lot of these platforms like just Fiverr and Upwork, you know, pricing usually starts out low, you know, and I think anybody, any business starts out like that, but then you grow and your prices go up. And I, I, I want to make that clear, you know, as you start these places, you're going to be lower in your pricing and it has nothing to do with, you know, the worth of who you are and all this stuff like that because your your worth is incalculable. And I've said that over and over again. You can't put a price on your worth. But you can put, I think, a price on how well-known your business is and how, you know, much influence you have in your business so far, right? So all I'm trying to get at is depending on where you are in your business right now, also I think depends on where you're going to put the eggs in your basket where you're going to price, you know, how you're going to price your stuff. So starting out, those are really fantastic websites to actually start making money on. Uh, ACX is a great website. Now you might be, why didn't you say ACX? So ACX is a great website to get started on, and it is a great website for me to cut your to cut your teeth on to get filler work. <laughs> what I mean by that is. You know, sadly, over the years, ACX has become a little bit, a lot more difficult to navigate, uh, meaning that there's a lot of scams and it, 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 you've got to be, 
you got to be on your, your P's and Q's, you know, on that site, because there's a lot of people who you'll get work and you'll kind of get to a point where you're unable to actually, um, to tell if the books that you're being hired for, does the, does that person own the rights ACX? You know, I, 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 I love ACX cause I started there. I, you know, and, and, and they have a lot of audiobook work for, for people who are just starting. So I do really appreciate them. But again, it's been a little more difficult on that platform because a lot of people will get started on a book and then ACX will come in and say, Hey, this person's scamming and they just take away. You've lost all that work. So real quick on a side note, when you are doing work on ACX, uh, especially or places that you can't, that's why I like Upwork and Fiverr too, even though you don't see the money at first, but all these platforms, I would say on ACX, make sure unless it's a royalty share, because you can't do that. But if it's paid per finished hour, accept at least half up front and half upon delivery, right? Make sure you get paid something up front so that you don't do a bunch of work and get it ripped away from you. That's so important, just on a side note. So I think that if you approach ACX that way, it is a great place to get started on, get experience, get working, Listen, working is 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 the the most important thing you can do, right? Is get work. So getting work. Um, so ACX another site. I like Voquent because I know the people in Voquent. Uh, they're great management there. They're trying to do a lot and grow. They're really interested in growing and also helping the voiceover community. You're not going to get as much work on Voquent, um, you know, just starting out, but the jobs on Voquent make it well worth it, right? So if you get one, two, three jobs a year on Voquent, you're going to make a decent amount of money. So that's worth it. And and again, it's it's free to upload your samples and get yourself out there. And the reason why I like a lot of these, a site like Voquent too, because again, it forces you to get more portfolio built like more you know more samples more recordings it forces you to get these things done so i like voquip um bunny studios okay is is a uh, definitely a interesting place but it is a place that you can make money they're the only place that pays you to audition they can be a headache trying to navigate their department of um, <laughs> of uh, quality control, now, even when you don't have quality control issues. Um, but it is a place that you can make money. So there's definitely, you know, something there, I think, to be said for Bunny Studios. And, you know, that is a lot of people are making a lot more money there, too being booked outright, you know, getting jobs, you know, the challenge with that place though, is that it's, it's a very fast, you, you need to do your voiceovers fast, but again, you can make money there to get started. So these couple places, you know, that I've mentioned are great places to get started, cut your teeth on. Now you notice I didn't mention voices.com or voice one, two, three, you know, you could always open free accounts there, but getting started there, I, the reason why I didn't bring it up is because, you know, you do have to make a decently, uh, a decent um, amount of, of, you know, you've got to pay to use the platforms uh, to, to make it worth your while. Now, we do have a discount in the Academy. We um, it was really cool. I partnered with Voices.com to give a discount to our members for uh, the Academy members, but it's still, ch you know, but the regular price is like $499. Now they do go on sale, but voices.com is an investment and you, you know, so it's voice one, two, three, and you need to utilize it. You got to be willing to audition, get your stuff up there. It's, it's a you know part of your marketing budget. So I don't always recommend that you get started there because it is a lot of work and long-term work. Not that these other sites aren't, but Voices.com and Voice123, they are set up for you to audition, 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 audition. And you can do hundreds of auditions and not get a job. And it honestly could mean it does it it doesn't mean that you suck or something's wrong with you. All right. You know, it could literally mean that you're not being fast enough 
on pulling the trigger. A lot of these places, a lot of these places you're going to go, even Upwork, okay? Fiverr is a little different because of the model, the business model with Fiverr is you, you know, is Fiverr brings the work to you and besides a little a few things that you can do to make sure you are being seen as best you can in their algorithm. You know, you it's not a who is first type of, you know, mentality really on Fiverr. It can be in some senses, but majority is not. But like Upwork, for example, sending proposals on Upwork. Upwork's yielding a lot of work for a lot of my students recently, uh, and, and even so more than Fiverr is. Um, and right now, the thing with Upwork, again, is you, you want to get your stuff out there before 5, 10 people have sent proposals. So because of that, you know, you are really have to be fast. You got to pull the trigger on sending a proposal very quickly to someone. So you got to be around when that comes about, right? It's the same thing with speedies and voice bunny. It's the same thing with voices one, two, three. If you get an audition, you need to send in that audition before you've got five, 10, 15 people sending in auditions. And that's hard unless you are sitting around your computer. So you can see where it can be very challenging on some of these places, especially when you're working a full-time job. So that's why I think that, you know, uh, places like ACX and Fiverr, even though we've talked about them um, and, and, you know, but the cool, but that's why voice, that's why Upwork and Voices.com, some of these places have added gigs. You know, People Per Hour is another one. That one's free, but it's it's a tricky one. You know, you, it's it's a UK company. They're still, even after all these years, they still struggle some with their algorithm. <laughs> so if you're on People Per Hour, you'll know sometimes you'll get like, like I get notifications, hey, you're a fit and, you know, you're a match. And, and they're asking for like a computer programmer. <laughs> like, how am I a match for that? Um so, you know, they, they work on their algorithm, but they do have gigs. I like to get myself up on as many places, especially free places, that has these offerings, these gigs, these projects where you put yourself out there and the site markets you, right? That's really nice. Um, so anyways, um, hopefully that's just uh, some good information about, you know, where you can get started, where you can grow uh, your business. And for, for not a lot of money, Okay, as opposed to a lot of time. So remember, you've in order to get work, in order to get anything, you've got to give something. And you know, a lot of people talk. You know, when you're starting out, we're we're looking for things that don't cost a lot of money, but it's going to cost a lot of time. There's always a cost, whether it's money, whether it's time, whether it's emotions, whether it's you know um, uh, mental capacity. It always costs something. Right. So a lot of these places cost your time. Right. Um, so anyways, I, I think that it's a great place for you to get kicked off on. And let's kind of hop over here in, in the chats. I've been talking for a while. Um, so put your name down here. Put where you're from. Any any uh, questions that you might have. And let's check it out. We've got uh, Big John from Louisiana. What's up, Big John? It's great to have you from Bayou Voiceovers. What's up, my man? Greg, Papa, what's up, man? It's been a while. I know, from Texas. We miss you. We miss you. I hope you're doing well. Uh, we got Dan from Kansas. Hey, Dan, good to have you, my friend. Uh, Richard, what's up, Richard? All right, Richard says, Morning, Anthony, just booked and voiced my first professional gig, a $15 uh, radio commercial. Awesome. Uh, a start, but making money now to pay for the Elite Academy, dude. It is awesome. We'd love to love to have you in the Academy. Um, and uh, you know, I've actually been seeing a lot more people booking more radio radio ads. That's so. I'm glad that you you booked that. You know, and they, I don't know if radios are they're making a comeback or something, but I've been seeing a lot more radio commercial ads being purchased f uh, for that price, you know, clearly, but, uh, but that's, listen, short. I mean, I'm, I'm okay. I personally am okay with those short tags, you know, like in the Academy when we, we, we are, um, you know, they're, they're like, you know, it's a couple words, like some are like three or four word lines or something that, you know, we're, we're paying people for. So I, I'm okay with that. You know, it takes me no time at all. I get some money, it's nice, right? And you get yourself out there and you build a relationship. So awesome, Richard. Uh, Jeremy Jones, what's up, Jeremy? Good morning. Ready for tonight's session? Where are a few places I can get uh, right for tonight in the academy? Um, 
where tonight's my class at 8 p.m. Where are a few places I can get scripts to start recording my gigs and demos? Very nice, Jeremy. I appreciate that. So, of course, in the Academy, we have tons of practice scripts, but I don't always recommend you use the practice scripts for your demos. So what I like to do is, you know, go on to Google, okay, and um, and I'm actually going to be publishing. So uh, and just on a side note, Jeremy, a long time, years and years ago, I published a D- how to do your D- DIY, uh, DIY uh, demo. And I put it on, of course, I did it live in my YouTube, on my YouTube channel, but it was years and years and years ago. And just like myself, you know, I always got to remind myself that I don't know about you guys, but I don't usually watch anything on YouTube that's over six months old, (laughs) right? Because we think maybe it's out of date. It's not something that is, you know, maybe relevant, but there are a lot of things that are relevant that might not be, you know, that haven't been done in the last six months. So I went back years and years. I got that. I got that video back out. I'm going to rework it. But to get scripts, I love using the S&P. I, I go on to Google. I pull up the S, a list of the S&P 500 companies. And I will literally go to those different websites, find copy that those, those companies have spent millions and millions of dollars for, and start putting together scripts from those different, um, from those different websites. And it's not that hard actually it's it becomes very simple and you can do that for a variety of different things because these companies have the copy you need all right and they have what angle they're going and it's up to date which i love so yeah so i i recommend you use uh you use that jeremy whatever you do don't this is just my opinion don't use scripts from websites you know, even even the Academy or other, you know, like Edge Studio or all these other places, don't use the scripts for your demo. Now, if you go and take those scripts from the Academy or Edge Studio or wherever, the, all the different places, I think Voices has script, Voices.com has scripts, you know, and you change them around, right? And you manipulate them to make them new and stuff. I think that's fine. You know what I mean? But I, I wouldn't uh, just take them verbatim. Um. Richard says, uh, I probably wouldn't have made the leap without stumbling across your channel. Was in a dark place and your advice and videos pushed me to push myself. Thank you so much. Thank you, Richard. I appreciate that. I really do. Thank you. Um, And you are most welcome. Uh, Jay says, howdy from Thailand. Jay. (laughs) How's it going over there, Jay? And Is it like nine again? I can't. I'm trying to remember. Thailand. I know the we have uh, somebody from New Zealand where it's always like one is something in the morning or two in the morning. With Thailand, it's like nine or ten, right? Uh, let's see. All things serious, news and Christianity. Hello from Wally. Hello. Good to have you. Uh, Jay says, I'm pumped. I made it early <laughs> tonight. That's right. Uh, ACZ, not here in Thailand. So I'm on. Oh, ACX, not here on Thailand. So I mean, yes, and that's true. I mean, depending on where you are in the world as well, right? It's not available. ACX is not available. Um, let's see. ACX, I've allowed. I met. Yep. Uh, Danny said, Oh, what's up, Danny? Good morning from San Diego. Good to have you, my friend. Mind worker. Good morning, AP. Good morning. Uh, let's see. Daniel, morning from Morrison, Colorado. What's up? Good to have you. Good to have you. Uh, let's see. A Facebook user. Hi, Pika. <laughs> Hi, Facebook user. I have a question. <laughs> you know, as people used to, when I was a, uh, a teacher in high school, kids would always say, they'd always call me Pika. Not Mr. Pika, but Pika. Like, hi, Pika. Who are you? Are you a? Are you one of my former students? And I, uh, or is it Terry? Is, is that you, Terry? Uh, after I became a pro at Fiverr, my work has dropped a lot. Do you think I should leave pro? Oh no, I don't know. Okay, since I've become a pro, do you think I should leave pro? So it's a really good question. That's. I'll be honest with you. That's one reason I've been, I think, really hesitant becoming a pro because I probably would end up losing a lot of my business, even though my prices are really close to what pro. So in a pro on Fiverr, you know, like I said, the majority of pros, they, they, they pretty much require you not to charge less than a hundred. You can, in some instances, you could charge less than a hundred, but for the most part, it starts at a hundred, you know? Um, and I don't know going back. I don't think you can reinstall. I, I don't know. 
I don't know. But I will say that, you know, talk to talk to the people there. But here's the thing. I've messed up my business every 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 which way from sideways, trying out new stuff and things like that. You know what I mean? Um, and if something is not working and you've given it a decent shot, you know, then it's worth. But I would I would really talk to your uh, your 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 code your seller plus person or your plus person just to see you know what should you be expecting. You know, what should be going on here and what do they see? Because I think the pro, pro the pro program is so different than the rest of Fiverr, meaning you know, it's such a limited pool. You know, we have people, you know, I had uh, one of my students, she's very talented, who was turned down to be a pro the other day. They're very limited, you know, and, and taking people. So, you know, it's just I would I would talk to them before you do anything like that. Um, Terry in California. So what was it? You, Terry? I'm trying to. Terry, California. I'm not awake yet. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's always great to see you and be here. It's great to have you. Uh, let's see. Michelle from Virginia Beach. Hot diggity dog. Virginia Beach. It's good to have you. It's good to have you. We're not too far away from each other. Again, I think it's so interesting to me how many people uh, I we often see like from different parts of Virginia, but probably because I'm in Virginia. I imagine that Facebook or whatever shows people you know closer to us sometimes. Um, but it's good to have you, Michelle. Uh, let's see. Will, what's up, Will? Good to have you, my friend. Will and I have known each other for a long time, haven't we, Will? It's good to have you, buddy. Um, Arpin Voice. Hi, sir. Arpin from the UAE. Awesome to have you. What time is it over where you are? It's so cool to have you. I, I love having people that we have, like, an, a next person from London on their lunch. It's so cool to have. Well, you have a late lunch, don't you? You're having, a, you're having lunch around, what, two there? Two or three? Um, but it, it's great to have you. It's so cool to see people from all over. Of course, Richard's in New Zealand at <laughs> 2 a.m., that's right. It's so cool to see people from all around the world, you guys. It is, it's, uh, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, let's see. Michelle says, what are your thoughts about backstage and Mandy? Okay, cool. So it's evident that, you know, backstage has made a play to continuously purchase many different voiceover websites. And, you know, it is a, I think a definitely a premier casting site for actors in general, right? Um, stage actors, uh, and, 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 and screen actors, but, voiceover wise, you know, it's not a bad place to get. I've had, I have students, we have people in the Academy who, who do get work on backstage. You know, um, the key to this thing is you've got to get yourself, if you're going to be on these platforms and pay for them, you got to get yourself out there on them. You've got to contact people. You've got to put out, you know, that you're, that you've got to answer these calls for jobs and you got to kind of really troll these sites uh, to to get the jobs now, Mandy has changed a great deal, you know, for, for since it was years and years ago. And Mandy became I, at least, you know, I first heard of Mandy from Bill Dewey's, and you know, he was big on Mandy many, many, many years ago. But Mandy's changed a lot, and the people I, a lot of our our students I see on Mandy, they don't really get work. Now, I'm not saying you can't get work there, but it's it's just not the same. I think as it as it once used to be. And I think they're moving away from a lot of that. So if I was going to pick one of those, I'd pick Backstage first. You know what I mean? Um, then Mandy. But if you have a if you have a marketing budget, right, and you can budget yourself for all these places, it's not, you know, it's not bad. I never, I, I don't want to be like, you don't be there. If, if I could choose to be everywhere or only a couple places, I'd be everywhere. Because why not? Why not be everywhere? But again, I think backstage would be better probably to start or if you were choosing between the two. Uh, Richard says, I decided against badly done voiceovers and I'm looking at voice works or something simple and brandable. Again, thanks for the, your advice on the name. Oh, I, I, I thought you did. I thought that was a really clever name, though. I really did. I really did. I, I mean, I thought it was clever, you know, and it probably would stick out. But I do think that, you know, I. Yeah, and, and it is long, you know, I mean, it is long. I, I've noticed that, too. I mean, in the end, you know, you want something short if you can. Uh, but, but no, absolutely, absolutely. I thought I was very clever, though. Uh, word of Mouth Entertainment, what's up? Good day, Anthony and everyone. Stephen from Melbourne, Australia. What is up? 
What is up from Melbourne, Australia? That is so cool. It's good to have you. Good to have you. Uh, let's see. Flexible. Flexible. What is a flexible? I wonder what that was too. It's probably something you were answering, something I was saying or something. I don't remember. Uh, Jeremy, what's up? Hello from Atlanta. Hey, Jeremy. It's good to have you. Had a first yesterday. Got a job on Voice Jungle. Nice. I know I woke up today and I had two jobs on Voice Jungle. So that's a, you know, vo- by the way, Voice Jungle, for people who don't know, Voice Jungle is a subsidiary of Procom. And it, like, there's two, like, they have two part, right? Procom, they offer, there's voiceovers there. And then Voice Jungle is kind of like the, sorry, the more affordable side, if you will. And, uh, but there, it's, it's another intermediary. They, you know, you get, you put your stuff up there. They handle getting the clients. They handle the clients. I mean, the client can talk to you briefly when they hire you, but you know, you, you don't really deal with the client other than, you know, maybe just saying thank you or answering, you know, a question from them or so, but everything goes through voice jungle and, but you got to be accepted onto the site and they keep the roster small. Um, so, you know, it's, and, and, but, but I, I get, like I said, I get, I get work, you know, I'm, I probably make a couple hundred dollars a month on that, on, on voice jungle. So it's nice. Right. Um, uh, let's see, but, uh, you were saying I got a job on voice jungle and the client asked me to read like the last example on my demo. Everyone always says people don't listen to the whole thing. Uh, well, I think in general, you could make generalizations about it, right? You could say that you want to put, like, if you start getting people who are like, I like the last part, I like the last part, well, then put that last part front because then you're probably going to get more people to listen, you know, to to hire you, <laughs> right? I mean, I think that's something that, you know, we, we, we do talk in generalizations. I think so many of us do. And... um you know, you're going to, of course, have somebody listen through all of it, especially if they're liking your voice. See, what they could have done is they they listened to your stuff they really liked and said, okay, well, I'm going to listen to this, you know, to it. And then they listen to the last, you know, and they get to the end and like, oh, I really like this. So whatever you had in the beginning, at least hook them. So that was good. Um, but, uh, but yeah, somebody will listen to your whole demo if they like the first one to three seconds, right? Like that's the, that's the point of that. Um, Let's see, Kate from Columbus. Hey, Kate, good to have you. Uh, Tony, what is your opinion of Bill DeWeese? What is my opinion of Bill DeWeese? Oh, well, I mean, so when I started, um, you know, I, Bill DeWeese was, Bill DeWeese has been putting out videos for a long time. I've had him on the podcast, right? I think he's a great guy. Um, Yeah, I learned a lot from Bill. And uh, yeah, I I think he's great. Um, I've, you know, like I said, I've talked to him on the podcast. Um, other than that, you know, I mean, I don't know. I don't know him beyond just professionally and, you know, the 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 interviews I've done with him. Um, but I know he's been around for a long time. <laughs> and, you know, I, I know he's been a successful voice actor. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's, um, I think that's about really all I, all I can say. Cause I, I've never partnered with him to work, you know, because since I run the, I run my Academy, you know, we have a VO's journey elite Academy and I do coaching myself and everything. Uh, I respect Bill as another coach. Uh, but, um, you know, other than that, I, he's, he's been a great guy. He's always been real kind to me. So, um, you know, I, I, I like Bill. Yeah. Um, Let's see. Michelle says there are a couple of listings on LinkedIn that I want to apply. Okay. Uh, How would you recommend setting up a resume with no experience? Great question, Michelle. So listen, when you're first starting out, clearly you have no voiceover experience, but I want you to look at it more from a standpoint of what are you offering them? And a great way to approach that is, you know, what, like you, you've had a lifetime of something you've done work, you've worked somewhere, you've been communicating your whole life. So it's how you kind and I'd say the word spin it, but how you, I always say you're Yoda, they're Luke Skywalker. Take your job is to make them the star. So whatever experience you've had, you know, you worked construction, you know, as a construction worker, you've had to learn how to communicate effectively with a variety of different people in some pretty crazy situations. 
right? So, you know, you bring a unique perspective to relaying messages and information. It's how, you know, it, you've got to make sure that you, you know, uh, don't shy away from what you've done in your life. Even if, you know, you, you don't have, well, I've worked with Nike, I've worked with McDonald's. I mean, yeah, that's great. And if you have that, use it. But it should be more about what can I do to help you? So I would approach it if you're trying to figure out how do I set up a resume? How do I do this stuff? On your resume that you have, focus on the things you can offer people, not what you've done. Okay? Um, and and the, the, the brief blurb of your background, like I said, <clears throat> whatever your work is, you've had to learn how to communicate. Okay? But focus on, like, for example, what is your process that you're going to offer them? What do you guarantee them? What can they expect to work with you? You know, solve their problems. I hope that helps. But that is definitely something we all go through when we're starting out, you know, and it's, we also kind of refer to it as imposter syndrome because we don't know how to make, tell people we're professionals if we haven't done much professional work. <laughs> so that, you got to start somewhere. And that's, again, why I'm glad we're talking about these websites because a lot of these websites we have that I'm talking about getting on, you know, they are for people who are just starting out or beginning because you don't have a way and they allow you. And see, this is this is where people get, I think, confused, too. They allow you to use pricing as a way to get into the game, you know, and some people don't like that. And that's to and that's totally OK. But, you know, when you don't have any experience and you don't have any way to get, you know, you, you need some way to get into the game. Uh, so that's why a lot of these websites are great places to to start. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Word of mouth says, have you ever been stung by a magazine companies to publish you in their magazines? Have you ever been stung by? No, I've not. <laughs> I've not been, I've not been, been asked to, uh, for magazine company. Now, you got to be careful. I mean, like I always get those things on like Instagram and all these places where these these mag online magazines claim they want to publish you. Don't it's all a scam. It's all a scam. Um, uh, Jay says I listen to Bill as well, but truth be told, I like you better. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. I appreciate that, Jay. <laughs> I really do. I really do. I, like I said, I like I like Bill. He's a good guy. I don't. Well, I guess I don't work with him directly. Uh, but you know, he's he's a good guy. He's a good guy. Um, Let's see. Greg says, Bill DeWeese is the Chuck Norris of voiceover. <laughs> uh, let's see. Richard Badley second that, Jay. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. I highly recommend Anthony's Academy. Thank you, Greg. I appreciate it. I'd love to have you guys part of the Academy. Um, I I think when you're, when you're looking to um, – well, one thing I wanted to do with my Academy, and this is, this is no uh, – I think no – well, I'm just gonna stick to I'm sticking to myself. <laughs> I wanted to offer something where people had access to me. I wanted to do something where you could ask me questions or you could see me live and we could talk. Like we you know, it's not <clears throat> you have to watch me, you you know, or or you know, you don't have access to me because I'm so busy off somewhere. And it's a catch twenty two, right? Because, you know, you want as a as a voice actor, I need time to do voiceover work but at the same time if i can stay up late enough because <laughs> i've been like an insomniac right you know it's nice to have interaction and stuff so you know part of our academy is it, the big part is that live interaction and our community you know being being able to like last night we had like 15 people 20 people in our our because uh, i go live in discord uh, we have a discord server it's part of the academy and I go live in there, you know, a couple nights a week uh, so that you can come in, bring in your work to get critiqued by me, you know, ask your questions. Um, and and it's really nice, right? It's nice to have that. Plus, you know, we have the live classes every week. But that live interaction um, is is really – it's really important. How many times have we all had – like pressing questions or we couldn't get past something and it would have been nice just to have somebody, a community, you know, the like-minded people that are really there, you know, that we're all trying to really help. And and being a part of Facebook groups is really great. We have an amazing Facebook group, um, you know, but 
you know, having access to some people. So that that's that's what I wanted to create with my academy was something different. You know, there's a lot of amazing content out there. Bill has amazing content. So many people have a, a wonderful content. Um, because of time, not so many people offer their time as much. So anyways, that's my that's my shameless thought process on that. Okay, anyways, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and uh, I really appreciate all your questions. And it is so cool to have all of you uh, from all around the world on this. on this. So thank you guys very much. Make sure you like and subscribe. I really appreciate that. And check out the link below for the Academy if you're interested. Again, you get uh, the first month half off. So we'll love to have you. And uh, I will talk to you all very soon. Goodbye.